Okay, you probably already know by now, but Bryce Young, or excuse me, the Panthers, um, have moved up to the number one overall spot, and they probably are going to take Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud, either one, flip a coin, doesn't really matter. I, I, I like C.J. Stroud a little better than Bryce Young. And let me know in the comments. I know this is, really doesn't have anything to do with the Lions, but do you like C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young better? Because I, I, I like, I like C.J. Stroud, but... People seem to like Bryce Young, and then I hear everybody likes Bryce Young, but it's not C.J. Stroud. So let me know in the comments, Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. I'm curious on that one. Little little mini poll. But what the, what does that do for the Lions? Well, here's Tankathon's mock draft just to get an idea of what we, what could happen now. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, 1-2, Will Anderson. I'm still not convinced the Cardinals won't go quarterback. I kind of am just because the top two guys are gone, but Cardinals will go with, the, with Will Anderson. Easy, take it. And then the Colts, remember, they need a quarterback. So if the Colts go quarterback Anthony Richardson, um, which, man, that seems aggressive, but hey, good, go for it. Then we get really close to Jalen Carter. I don't think we ultimately end up with him, but what we could end up with is if a quarterback is not taken here with the Colts, say they go for a veteran quarterback, you could see some of these other teams that need a quarterback. I mean, even like the Titans, you know, like Titans, Raiders, Falcons they need quarterback so could they come up here and try to get a quarterback and trade with us and that's really my big thing right now and and you let me know is do you want a player a certain player here or do you want to trade like I'm really looking at trade scenarios and so this shake up at the top really allows for more trade opportunities I think for the Lions because there's the top two quarterbacks go and then You've got two other quarterbacks, Will Levis and, and Anthony Richardson. So, man, do you want to come up and get those? So that's the shakeup situation that I'm really looking at is how can we trade? Who needs a quarterback? Come on up. Come on up to six. Come and get them. Or do we take a Tyree Wilson or a Christian Gonzalez? I am, I've am. i said it. I'm on the Christian Gonzalez. I'm okay with it. Um, I don't love taking corner or running back really high just because it doesn't seem like it when it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and it's really bad. But I think Christian Gonzalez would work. Now, down here at pick 18, they still have us with Michael Mayer. We're not taking a tight end. I think in the Ben Johnson offense, tight end, even running back, you can plug and play. You don't need to invest the big um, draft pick on that. We'll go defense here, no question, in my mind. Miles Murphy, I really like. Brian Branch, I really like. Or you go Quentin Johnston. You imagine that? Oh man, Quentin Johnston and Jamison Williams and St. Brown. Hello, that'd be awesome. So there's some different things that we can do. We're not doing tight end. There's no way. And again, that goes back to like I'm talking about with the plug and play of Ben Johnson's offense. A running back. We're not going to overpay for Jamal Williams. And uh, I know that it's just like man because he's he's a little bit older. He's not an elite running back by any means, and we're just not going to do it. And we're going to say, hey, thank you for all that you've done here. And I think ultimately he ends up resigning just because he's comfortable. He doesn't want to leave. What's, you know, he's at a good, good spot. So he will, I think, ultimately resign. But it just, those are two positions where we do not have to overpay. We've got an offense that you can plug and play and get a good running back. That's why I don't think we'll take B. John Robinson as either because it's just too high of a pick for a running back. Running backs are they're just it's they get hurt it's uh it's a tough position and we don't need to invest that much uh draft capital in doing that now osiris torrance i've always liked him he could be another guy up here at 18 so no way do we take michael mayer but here's the it's the trade op options that's what i'm looking for what do you need raiders why don't you you know why don't you come up and look at it so that's what we're looking at let me know your thoughts in the comments I'm really curious to know if it's looking at trade situations now with with the big trade up top or just stay. Take Christian Gonzalez. Be happy with that. There's your corner. Next, you know, next. Let's go get a, a D tackle, an interior lineman, something like that. I'm fine with that as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and we will see all of you at the next one.